What news, Altair? I've learned much about my enemy. Share what you know, then. Jubayer has become obsessed with purging the city of its knowledge. The most terrible crime. Now I see why Al Mualim wants you to remove him. He's using the city scholars to assist him. They go out into the streets, harassing the people and collecting all their written works. I fear he intends to destroy them all. He must be stopped. That's why I'm here. He's to hold a meeting soon, at the Madrasa al Qalasa. It's where I'll go. It's where I'll take his life. I'll leave you alone to prepare. Bring glory to the Brotherhood. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments, put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons meant to guide us, to save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No, these bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there or why? No. Simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. We need them. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Then join them. Ah! Ah! Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good. Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. to be here, please. Oh, 
quietly acquiesced, agreed to believe based on nothing more than the words of men and women long since gone to dust. And why? Why do we believe absent <laughs> Let us cleanse this city of its poison gas. This is a righteous act. From the flames shall be born a new era, one of truth and from unity. Me. He's there. He's there. by a singular wisdom. You are made to Men must be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn, fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness for which there is but one cure. You're wrong. And that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah Adin and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I, too, was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I.
Jubayer, tell me you've met with success. Yes, Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks, it's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war, that sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al-Mualim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafi. Upon you as well. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. done he'll be taken care of i want that progress report by tomorrow morning i've got some work i need to do so you've got the rest of the night to yourself I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope, it's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when I'm pretty it... sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stillman? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. So what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Messiah, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. And what are they hoping for me? You know, for my ancestor to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Is there a problem, Miss No, Stillman? Warren. Everything's Denver on my end. Then, where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean, everything's Denver? It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. Aren't you tired? Can't talk, gotta work.
Looks like some kind of access code. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else, then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Whenever you're ready, just select the memory you'd like to visit. Jar carriers can easily break your cover if you cause them to drop what they're carrying. Come in, my student. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then. Yes, and no. He dreamed, and still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? 
world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. going to run into someone. Countering a strong attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Finish him by breaking his legs or by throwing him to the ground. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. So it's true, then. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights myself. Only misfortune follows that man. If he's here, it's because he intends ill. I won't give him the chance to act. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of that. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and citizens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange day. You have no idea, Malik. But tell me where they've been seen. I should be after him before he slips away. Three places I can say for certain. West of here, near both a guard tower and a hospital. And to the southwest, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. See what you can learn. I will do the same. I'll be quick as I can. Stay safe, my friend. Who 
Ghoul must be out of his mind. You have no business here. It's forbidden for you to be here. Good to see you, brother. I trust you're here for the funeral. Or for Robert, rather. I've kept my eyes and ears open, but I've nothing to report. Things are quiet here. Perhaps Tariq has seen or heard something you can use. He's stationed not far from here. Go to him. See what knowledge he has. No, please don't. Leave. I beg of you. Just a few points. I beg of you. Just a few points. Please. You have no business here. Leave. You are not supposed to be here. Leave. My family, why would you be dying? Could you spare a few coins? Excellent timing, Altair. I found something you'll find quite useful. Orders for Robert's guards. This map I've made will show you where he intends to station them. Put it to good use.
Yeah. <laughs> 